Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. Tony is a world-renowned psychic medium. She has had the gift of being a psychic medium and channel her entire life. Tony hosts two TV shows, Create a Life You Love and Psychic Medium, Tony G. She is also the author of five books. Being a healer and a hypnotist as well, it is her purpose and her passion to help you in every way she can. Phone lines are open now. Call in. 858-3 858-365-5593 and let Tony answer your questions about life, love, finances, or help you connect with a loved one on the other side. Enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really grateful that you are here. So um, just a few quick things before we get started with answering the calls. Um, I, I will try to get through to as many people as I can, as I always do. Please remember, no speaker phones, because it's difficult to hear if you're on speaker phone, and it kind of distorts it and... Um, echoes it. So if I call your area code and you are on speakerphone, just kind of pick your phone up and put it to your ear. Second, uh, one question each or one connection each. Excuse me. Uh, Just because it's, it's what's fair and if you have more than one question, you might want to consider booking a private reading. Uh, I try to get to as many people as possible, and in doing so, you know, one question seems fair for everybody. Next week, I'll be doing my TV show, Psychic Medium Tony G, and I'll be using Blog Talk Radio. So that will be next Tuesday if you want to be part of that. If you don't get through today, you can try next Monday at noon or next Tuesday at 1. If you're following me on Blog Talk, you already know because I've uh, just posted those shows, and you'll be able to uh, join me at those times. Okay, here in America, it is Memorial Day, so I just want to say a special thank you to all of those who have sacrificed their life to keep us safe to keep America, to keep America and Americans safe and in, in, in a, in a way that we can keep living the way that Americans live. They have fought for our freedom and there are many people still to this day in the military fighting for our freedom and fighting so that we can keep America, America. Every country is amazing and beautiful in its own way. And um, <clears throat> and many people love America because of the way America is. It It is free. You're free to voice your opinions. You're free to be who you want to be. And we have many people fighting the good fight to make sure that America stays America. Now, it's it's really sad to me that some people would think that making the statement, making sure America stays America, is a bad statement. If I would say, let's make sure Italy stays Italy because of its culture and the way they live, nobody would have a problem with that. If I would say, let's keep Greece, Greece, because of their culture and the way they live, and it's just such an amazing culture, Nobody would have a problem with that. But here in America, for some reason, things have become very, very distorted. And I just want to thank 
those who are fighting the good fight to keep America, America, so that we can all have our freedoms and our liberties and live every day, walk outside every day wearing what we want, um, being able to speak the way we want, uh, not having to worry uh, that we're going to be basically attacked. And so thank you to all of our military, every level, every military person. Thank you so much. And for those who have sacrificed their life and have gone home during that fight, thank you so much, especially for um, giving your life so we can live ours in a way where we don't have to worry. So that's, I just wanted to say that. And I want to go to the first caller, uh, 551. Hello, 551. How are you today? I got one. Um, This is T. I'm sorry. You need to speak a little bit more clearly. I'm sorry. Who are you? T. Calling from New Jersey. Hi. Uh, Okay. So what's your question today? The question today um, is pertaining to romance. Um, just wanted to know what did you see um, for me in romance as far as a new partner? Okay. So I the, the first thing, I'm really distracted because there's, uh, I think that, okay, so I'm just going to say, Typically, I can tap into somebody pretty quickly. Whatever you're doing, stop doing it and focus so that I can. (laughs) I don't mean to be so direct and bossy and sound a little bit mean, but focus. If this question is important to you, that you sat on the phone for 30 minutes waiting, stop what you're doing and focus so I can get into your energy and get there. Um, I know we all multitask and we want to be doing 20 things at once, but Here's a June, 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 June. Thank you. Thank you for honing in June. Uh, you're going to meet somebody in June. He is a really good person, but you have to, you have to come, you have to present yourself as a strong person that you know what you want, you know where you want to be, and you have your stuff together. You can't be wishy-washy, flim-flam, oh, whatever. You can't show up like that. You need to be, like, put together or this person is going to kind of be a, like like a, a, a stopover is what they're saying. It's not going to be a long-term relationship. And if it, if it turns out it's not a long-term relationship, that it's okay. There's always another guy. There's always another girl, right? We, we, we don't have to say this is the only one and it must last until one of us dies because what if there's something about that person we find out we don't really like? <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to say, we can work through anything and we can accept a lot, especially women. We put up with a lot more than men do, I'm just saying. But what I'm saying mm-hmm. is you have to know who you are and you have to know what you want and you have to not let those lines blur. They're saying present, be very strong with this person. This person likes a really strong woman who has their poop in a group, so to say. They want you. To, this is not- he's looking. He's looking for somebody who's who's put together well. Okay, he's and put together I- well. He wants somebody and who's put together a- well. Or it I'm like sorry. Ex who- I said, is this a new person? Because this sounds like my it's ex who's person. coming up. Okay. No, it's a new person, and they're coming in in June. Somebody brand new that you have not met before. Okay, love? Okay. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week, and I look forward to talking with you after June. Now, remember, if I tell you <laughs> there's somebody coming in in June, unless you want it to be the pizza delivery guy, you've got to be out and about. You have okay. to be getting those introductions. You have to be... Uh, going out, not necessarily to clubs, but, you know, you have to be 
you can't you can't be going to work and going home and saying, Oh, I didn't meet anybody. It didn't happen. <laughs> you have to be like telling your friends, Let's go to this let's go hit some balls at the golf course because maybe, you know, a lot of guys hang out at golf courses. And if you don't know how to hit a ball at a golf course, even better. Somebody who thinks you're cute is going to come offer to help you hit balls and teach you how to hit them. Okay? So get out. Not to, don't, don't go to clubs because players are in clubs. Yes, yeah, some good guys are in clubs. But players are in clubs. Mm. If you're out during the day doing things like hitting balls at a golf club or um, whatever people do in the day, go-kart racing, whatever it is, Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to meet somebody who's not, who doesn't have that nightclub agenda or that that bar agenda going on, okay? So so get out, do some new things, um, and do them during the day. I feel like you're going to meet this person during the day, not at night, uh, and I feel like you are going to meet him uh, while you're having fun, possibly with a friend, okay? Okay. Excellent. Have an amazing rest of the week, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you. You are so welcome, love. Okay, going directly to the next caller, 203. 203, how are you today? I'm good, Tony. How are you? I'm doing excellent. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It's Pat in Connecticut. I was reading about you while I was waiting um, for the show to start, and I was confused. The TV program, is that on Blog Talk Radio? It's it's actually, uh, thank you for asking, it's actually on, uh, it airs on WSCS, um, which is a TV station, but I use Blog Talk Radio, so I I log into my Blog Talk and then I um, take uh, I take callers while the camera's running, and then we air it on the TV show also. Oh, that's great! So you're on more than once a week. That's great. That's really interesting. I'll I'll call. Um, oh, excellent! I, excellent! Perfect. Thanks. Yeah. Go ahead, Lars. And I was telling myself, you know. Pat, you need to be more patient and read more about the host because I just learned a lot from reading yours. I'm glad I did. Uh, usually oh, well, I breeze through you, pretty Pat. quickly. Yeah. So then I found you online so, and I see all kinds of um, videos. So I'll go back and um, I'll go. Oh, goodness. Uh, that's okay. My vet's calling, I think. Um, um, I'm going to skip it. Um, and yeah, I was going to ask you about my dog. I was going to ask you about all the growing I need to do. But since the reader asked you about a relationship, I was thinking after all the growing I need to do and everything that I'm trying to get better in my life, my dream really is to be with a partner, to be in nature, to be financially secure, blah, blah, blah. I haven't had these things for a long time. And I wanted to ask you. Okay. Do you see that coming? Thank you so much. So the first thing, when you say I haven't had this for a long time, I really, the first thing I do, and for for every single person who's listening, even if I don't get to you, there's such a huge benefit in listening to this show all the way to the end, from beginning to end, because I do clearings throughout the whole show. So the first thing I test is you're stuck, and you are very, very stuck. Um, I'm hearing that something happened five years ago and then again 10 years ago, and it was something similar. So I'm going to right now, I'm going to start um, for you and everybody listening and everybody re-listening. And if you do re-listen to this show, more will clear. So if I test you are stuck, I get a yes. I start clearing that. And instantly, like, there's a sense of panic in my chest. Like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I I feel like I want to cry, which I'm so sorry that you have had this in your life. Like, I literally am going to cry right now for you. Oh, Um, thank you. I'm going to. This is a big one for everybody listening that you are stuck because we are all stuck. Something happens to us and we get. 
so afraid it's going to happen again that we don't let ourselves go there again. But we forget that was only one small part of it. That was the very ending of it. But there were so many good things in the beginning and through it. And, and we sacrifice good things happening again just so that we don't have that ending again. Love is everything. It is the only thing. And if we are not allowing ourselves to love, we are not truly living. We are existing in an abyss of loneliness. Ooh, that was so poetic. I love my guides. Um, seriously, even we always we we are always so concerned with what if I get hurt? What if I? What if this isn't the guy? So what? At least you had a good memory or two in the meantime. At least you experienced the love. When you're with someone, your heart grows, your love grows, your love for them, and your love for yourself. You learn more about yourself being with other people. We can only grow so far on our own up. I didn't date or, 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 or talk to anybody for seven years. Seriously, nothing for, se- nothing for seven years because I thought I need, I need to heal myself. I need to figure out why I'm getting these, uh, these type of guys. You know, they, they're, they're going out with me and they're asking out my friends. What? Are you kidding yeah, me? Right? Yeah. So I just stopped. I just stopped. I said, yeah. I'm going to heal me um, because I know everything is a reflection. So I worked on myself, worked on myself, worked on myself, and I was content to be alone. And then all of a sudden this guy walks in and I was like, I couldn't even breathe when I looked at him. He's just... Well. Yeah, he's just he's he's just such an amazing man. Now, there is a part of me that wants to know where this going and does he love me and all these things. But then there's the part of me that says, since this man has come into my life, I have healed so ma- so many things. I thought I was fine. I'm like I'm doing good. I'm healed. As soon as he came into my life, all of those insecurities came up. And all of those triggers were on high alert. So I was able to heal myself even further. So, but, but now having said that, just having that feeling of love again with someone is worth all of it. So not only am I healing and I'm loving and I'm finding out more about myself, we have to take that chance. So you've been stuck. And we're still clearing that, and all the emer- the emotional stuff that uh, caused that is is going to start to go now. And and I feel like, um, you know, we're so afraid of endings. We feel like it was a failure. If it ends, it's a failure. What if, what if it's supposed to end? What if there is like a contract that says you're supposed to be with this person this long and learn this much, or What if we can only be with a person for as long as we're learning and growing in love? Not in love with them, but we're learning and growing love. And then we get to to remain in that relationship, whether it's a family relationship, a friendship, a, 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 a relationship like this. The moment the love stops, we have to move away from the situation for, for our soul, for our spirit, for our heart. So what I'm going to tell you is August, there's, there's the potential for somebody to come in in August. Between now and August, I want you to journal, and this is what they want you to do. Um, the first, you know, all the things you want in someone else and then how you can give that to yourself. And then second, once, once you get through that, start giving those things to yourself because n- nobody can ever give you, nobody can ever give you what you don't give to yourself. Okay? So all okay. the things you want from somebody else, write them down. All those feelings you want them to give you, it, and if it's love and if it's, if it's this and if it's that, security, find a way to give that to yourself. And as soon as you do, you're going to realize that that person is right there. 
and you're going to be very happy with that person being right there, and you're going to feel safe with that person being there. And here's the biggest thing that a lot of people don't don't realize. Anything that somebody else gives to you, they can take from you. And once they give it to you, you're terrified they're going to take it. So I know a lot of younger girls that are like, I, I want a man that has, you know, he's, he's, he's financially secure because we're going to have children and he's going to need to take care of us. And I'm like, that's, that's all good. But if he brings that financial security to you, then you're going to be terrified of losing that. But not that we shouldn't have a successful man because why not? There's nothing wrong with wanting a man that is together and successful. But, you know, I, I, when I, I think this is funny when, when, I, when, when people say, oh, I, I want a man like this, and somebody says, don't be a gold digger. Well, what should she be asking for, a loser? <laughs> oh, give, give me somebody who's unemployed and doesn't have a job. What the heck is that? It makes me crazy when people judge people for that. It's not a judgment. It's saying, give that to yourself. Make sure you are financially secure and you can take care of yourself, and then you're never beholden to that person. Okay? We all deserve the best partner for us. And we're not, we're not pieces of, 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 of whatever. We deserve somebody good. Every single person deserves somebody good, somebody loving, somebody successful. And, and, and we deserve to have that at all times in our life. But we have to realize until we give that to ourselves, We'll never be able to accept it from another person. And not only will we not be able to accept it from another person, but if another person gives it to us, it'll be uncomfortable. So I want you to make a list of everything you want from a partner. And if it's nature and you're already giving yourself nature, don't worry about that. And then I want you to ask yourself three questions. Do I believe this is possible? Do I believe a person is out there like this? And they are. Trust me, they are. There's a lot of them. Then I want you to ask yourself, do I believe this person would want me? And of course they would. You're amazing and you're beautiful and you're kind and you're loving. And third question, am I ready for this? Now, if you don't remember the questions and what I'm saying, re-listen to the show. That's the beauty of this show. You can re-listen to it and write it all down. And then when all of those answers are absolutely you're ready. Now, I feel like somebody has the potential to come in in August, and when they come in, you are going to be more than ready as long as you do these exercises. Now, one of the things that I love to do, if, if let's say the question, do I believe like somebody is out there like this, and the answer is no, why? Why? Why don't I believe this person exists? Why don't I believe this person exists for me? And so the, so the first answer is the surface answer. The second answer is getting closer. The third answer is a good answer. The fourth, why? The fourth time you ask why. But why is the truth. It's the root. It's where it started. And that, okay. my dear is what you need to do. So you, you write down these things, and then if the answer is not, absolutely. You ask, why? Why why do I have that belief system? And you, you dig until you get to that one that makes you go, oh, that light bulb moment answer. And then you yeah. go, yes, yes. Okay, and as soon as we realize it, it's already healed. We just have yeah. to get there, okay? okay? So that's the yeah. beauty of this exercise. Now, um, Still clearing the being stuck by tomorrow morning, you should feel better. You should be moving forward. Now, I'm not working on being stuck in relationship, just being stuck in general. So if somebody's stuck in career, finances, relationship, all of that should just about be clearing from you. And it might take a little longer. Now, if you do want to work, let's say you re-listen to the show, say, when I say uh, you're stuck, say in relationship and just clear that. Or in career and just clear that. And you can do it over and over again to as many things as you want. Okay, sweetie? So August, this person's coming in. He's kind. He's loving. You have to believe that exists. Not only that it exists, but it exists for you. Okay? 
You have to believe it. And you have to know it. And you have to feel it. And then you have to accept it. And when you can do that, he will be there. I do feel like this person is a very strong person, although he comes off as very gentle. He is strong. Now, don't. There's a difference between somebody who has a lot of testosterone and somebody who's strong. Okay? Yes. And and us women, we love us some testosterone, don't we? <laughs> so we're like, woo! We see that testosterone, we can feel it coming a mile away. But we want somebody who has that inner strength, the strength of a lion. A lion doesn't need testosterone because it has that inner strength. Okay? Yes. This person is strong on the inside. He's wise, but he's not flamboyant, and he's not egoic. So you're going to have to hone back yours because that he'll see it coming a mile away. Um, he might seem on the outside like he's very soft. He's not. He's a very strong, kind person and very wise. So get this exercise going. Work on it at least once a day. Work on it till you can't work on it no more. Give it a break and then go back again. And you are going to be just simply amazed at what comes next. Okay, sweetie? <laughs> this has been amazing. Can I give you two comments? Yeah. Of First course. of all, you, when you said I was stuck and you gave the years, I completely forgot my question and was thinking that you were talking about my whole life. And my question was, well, this all started when I was three, and it was just unbelievably horrible, blah, 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 blah. And then I remembered you were talking about relationships, and I remembered I was so deeply in love at 18. I haven't felt that since then. I just want to give you that feedback. You've given me so much time. I hear everything you say, and I'm going to listen to it again and again, and thank you so very, very much. It's absolutely, sweetie, this is absolutely my pleasure. That's why I do this. I I want you to know there are people on the other side. I see an elderly woman, an elderly ma- man, and I hear mom, pa, ma, pa. Now, this could be grandma, grandpa, but they're thinner. Yes. The, the woman is definitely thinner. And they're saying we love you and we're helping you find the right one. We want you to have joy in your life. And they're Thank going you. to be helping you to have that. They're leading you, but they're saying, listen, if your garbage disposal stopped working and it was full of, of, gar- of food at the time, you wouldn't just let it sit there and hope it would go away. You have to get your hand in there. You have to dig all that stinky garbage out, right? Yes. And sometimes yes. our heart is like a broken garbage disposal. Okay. We have to get in okay. there and we have to dig all that garbage out. And once we do, we're like, woo. So I'm going to do one more clearing for everybody. I'm going to ask um, – I'm ready for a love, and I get a no. So I'm going to start clearing that for everybody because love is everything. Oh, and that makes me have that big, heavy, like, who can barely catch my breath. So we're ready for love. We're going to clear anything stopping or blocking you from being ready for love. And, again, remember, re-listen to this. Standing up, facing north, re-listen to it. And make it work for you. Get get in there and clear that. Like if you have to listen to it right before you fall asleep so that it continues to work throughout, throughout the night while you're sleeping, do it. But listen, the problems we see in our partner are a reflection of what needs to heal in us. The problems we see in our partner or the problems we perceive our partner will have is what needs to heal in us. So let's get healing, okay, people? Let's get healing. Okay, I want to thank you so much for calling in today. I have uh, just a few seconds left, and I want to thank everybody. Please remember next Monday at noon and next Tuesday at 1, two shows next week. Please call back in if you did not get through, and I'm sure I will get to you on one of those days. Happy Memorial Day, and thank you to all that have given their life to keep us safe and protected and let us have our life here the way that we do. I look forward to next week.